What's up guys, Baker here. Today I'm back with another tutorial and it's kind of like an old tutorial but not really. All I did for today was uh, take my automatic smooth transition plugin preset thing and made it compatible for After Effects CS4 and up because before I created it in CS6 and only users that had that version or newer could use it. But now I uh, opened up my CS4. Uh, I know it took a little while, but I redid the whole code and saved it as a new preset so anyone with CS4 and up can now use it. So, download link is in the description. Uh, go ahead and check it out. What you want to do is unzip the file and drag it into your applications, CS4, presets. I made a folder called custom presets and I just drop everything in there. Um, you can make you know any other folder but all you do is drop it in there and um, go ahead and load it right up if you don't see it you want to click on this button and refresh your list and let's just test it out just to make sure it works layer new adjustment layer Baker easy transition CS4 plus and boom there we go exactly the same plugin there are a few uh, very small minor changes I do want to answer a couple of questions um, that I didn't get to address last time number one it does not work for Adobe Premiere it does not work for Final Cut it does not work for Vegas it does not work for anything else it's just After Effects so please no more comments asking if it'll work for some other program it will not number two before some people would get a, a little message error saying that they had a missing effect. That was because I included a uh, real smart motion blur in the last plugin. This time I didn't include it because some people didn't have it and it's okay if you don't have it just delete uh, the RSMB which I don't have this time and just use the standard built-in blurs right here. No problem. If you have RSMB and you want to use it go ahead and add it on. Another issue people had, uh, they got something with, um, it was like invalid buffer size or something, or buffer size too large, something like that. That's just your motion towel going too crazy. The image size is too large. Your output is too high when you zoomed out. So I like to keep it around two to 300. That way you're not tiling, you know, billions of pixels. So you know just keep it standard and don't zoom out or zoom in super far another error message people used to get which I don't think you should get this time but it said um, child verification parent not found or something I forget the exact wording but that sounds like one of the expressions is broken now I haven't personally encountered this myself so I don't know exactly what's going on but just a hunch this is kinda what I'm guessing when you go into your expressions You'll see something that looks like this. A yellow triangle with an exclamation point, probably. I don't know. All you have to do is click the equal sign and it'll reestablish that connection and basically turn that expression back on. Again, I don't know because I've never experienced it, but that's just a hunch. So just go through the expressions, check it out, make sure everything looks okay like it's all turned on. That's most of the questions um, people had last time. I do want to address one thing though. Um, I did manage to give away uh, 12, over 12,000 copies of my plugin over the course of, I don't know how long it's been, four months, five months or something. And um, I kind of feel like I missed out on a pretty good opportunity to uh, you know, pay off my student loans and whatnot. So I have recently decided to start selling it for a dollar. And if you think about it, for what this thing can do, a dollar is like nothing. This is this is pretty crazy going on. And, you know, after all the fees and whatnot that get taken out, I don't even get a dollar. I get 60 cents. So, you know, asking for donations wasn't really cutting it, to be honest. So I hope you guys understand. It's just a dollar for a download. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoy check out my other tutorials uh, I didn't go in depth this time so if you're new to this plugin check out my original tutorial on how to use this 
and I also have another tutorial specifically on creating and installing these presets if you ever happen to have any other issues as well. Okay, that's about it. Feel free to like and favorite. Uh, comment if you have any questions. Hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. All that good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed and check it out. Alright, peace.